Hey, so it's that time again. I wanted to do another recovery and training vlog. Thank you for following my journey, first of all. Uh, the last uh, couple of weeks have been interesting because I feel like I've taken massive steps backwards. And I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's because I push it too hard. But I, I really do my very best to listen to my body and to just, you know, take it day by day, day by day. One area that I'm really struggling and and I'm very conscious of, let me start again. I always feel guilty, not guilty, but I, let me start, I'll start again. Third time lucky. I have these moments where I'm like, oh, I'm really struggling. And, and there are actual things that show up, but when I find myself saying, oh, this is tough, then I always compare myself to like people that have you know, been in worse accidents than me, and the circumstance, the um, the result has been much worse than mine. You know, technically or in theory, I am going to be able to get back to a fully functional human being. Maybe not the same person I was in terms of activity and stuff, but I often feel like oh, I have nothing to complain about. There, but there's actual still things that I really struggle with. Sleep is a big problem for me now. Someone that you know, I've coached for years on the importance of sleep. I take my sleep very seriously. And for someone like myself to not sleep well, that really gets to me. Really, really gets to me. Uh, I I can go to sleep at 12 o'clock and I'll wake up at 3 o'clock like this. Poof, I'll go to sleep at midnight, three hours later, poof, I'm awake. And then I can't fall back asleep, number one. Number two, I will wake up feeling like I'm in some state of trauma. The other day, I woke up, and you know, like in cartoons, when someone gets electrified and their whole body like locks up, and I was just lying in my bed with this like electricity going through my body. Um, my wife wakes me up for the first time in my life. She says, "You're chewing, uh, you're uh, grinding your teeth." And sometimes I'm just doing this with my mouth, and it's all just basically because. Obviously, during the day, consciously, I'm fine, fine. And then during the night, my unconscious, where the memory of the accident, I guess, still lies, it comes alive at night. So I really struggle with that, and then my sleep is affected. But on the physical side, uh, yeah, I just felt like, it's really weird because a few months after my accident, I was walking around, and I was starting to move, and I, I really just felt like, yeah, there's going to be no problem. No problem that's going to be back to normal in, in no time at all. But I guess the body just doesn't heal as fast as I want it to. Um, and I still have niggles. Like right now I've got niggles in my, in my ankle, my calf. My hip is just killing me. I don't know if... I mean, I'm going to give it another four to six months. But if I'm not getting an improvement in my hip, I've got to go back to the surgeon. Or my orthopedic consultant and and see you know the metal work that was put from my hip down to my knee through my femur is it causing some kind of obstruction because it just causes me issues every day uh, i can't cross my legs for more than a few minutes it just becomes too painful but on a positive note i am getting stronger all the time uh, yes, I'm not ready for pull-ups yet. It still hurts a bit too much or, and my mobility isn't that great, but I am getting stronger. I am making progress. It's What am I saying after everything that I've just shared? It's not gone the way I want. It's not gone the way I expected. It's not gone the way I wished, but it's still going. I'm still on my way and I'm grateful for that. I am grateful that you know, after attempting just a few burpees, um, a, you know, a basic body weight exercise, an advanced basic body weight exercise, but just doing a few, 10 minutes, you know, I am I have to like take care of my back the next day and, and I have to take care of my legs and the, the soft tissue around my scar by my knee is still a bit swollen from my last surgery. Um, but I walk around knowing knowing every day that I'm not where I want to be, but I'm on my way. And I know I say that quite a lot, 
that's because I, I think it quite a lot. I feel it quite a lot. So, um, above everything that I've just shared in, in today's recovery and training update, I just wanted to say above all of that, that I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be able to share this video with you. I'm grateful to be still here. And that is incredibly important to focus on the thing that makes us feel good, not what makes us feel bad. To focus on what we can be grateful for and what we have, not what's missing. To focus on what's going right, not what's not going, what's not going wrong. Um, I don't want to turn this into a, a personal development video, but it, it's a, yeah, it's a big theme of my day-to-day -day life. You know, all these things aren't as they should be, but this thing you can be grateful for. These things you can appreciate. And yeah, that's what really keeps me focused, feeling good, positive, optimistic, is I have so much to be grateful for. I really do. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Keep stretching, keep moving. Day by day in every way, keep chipping away.